All right, what's going on, y'all? Simply Pops here. Very, very special unboxing. Unexpected. So we have the iPhone 7 Plus here. Quick unboxing, 128 gigabytes. Okay, we got all the specs. iPhone 7. AirPods is the iPhone with no headphone jack, so be warned. Apple is kind enough to give us a pull tab. So you just pull it. So I actually don't even need no unboxing knife, so I could just pull it. It's gonna be more dramatic when I take off the wrapper for the actual phone. It doesn't say iPhone 7, but it is what it is. You know what it is. And it depends on what color you get. If you have like the rose gold, it'll be rose gold on the text. Or if you get the gold, it'll be gold. Always love opening up Apple boxes. And for the first time ever, an iPhone, you don't get the iPhone right away. We're doing a reveal. His name's Jack. Oh. Okay, you got that nice iPhone smell. Pretty sure most of you guys know how to use an iPhone anyway, so. Okay, beautiful. Alright. You could tell this is an iPhone 7 because look at the airpiece. It's wider than normal. That's the only way you can tell from the front. The back, pretty self explanatory. You got the camera. Okay, while that boots up, we take a look at the accessories. Typical Apple brick, you know, you just plug the USB in there to lightning. I normally don't like these cables because they don't really last too long. You know, because if you bend this part up, it can start to mess up. So I'll probably throw a link in the description. I actually reviewed some cables. In my opinion, I think those are the best cables to get. You can see no headphone jack. Alright, so moment of truth. I'm wrapping the iPhone. It's my favorite part. Okay, whoop. This is fresh. Okay, you don't have no FFC labels on the back. It's nice and clean. Smoke black iPhone Apple logo. The home button is not really a button. It's a solid state button. I like how the way buttons look. And I actually have an iPhone in my pocket. Okay, so this is the iPhone 6. Plus, and I actually put a D brand skin on there too. I actually made a video on that as well. The 7 looks a lot better, but this one is just wear and tear, everyday use. Be careful with the black one because the black one can show smudges and it can show the scratches a little bit more visible. But yeah, I really can't tell which one is thinner. I'm pretty sure the 7 is thinner, but you really can't see the difference at all. Away from the ear pieces though, that's about it. But very, very identical. Alright, by the way, that's not my phone. That's um, Kimo's phone. You know, from the Always Home series. You want to restore it from iCloud? Yeah. Alright. I would bring the phone to you, but I'm, nah, you know, I'm so good. scared to the nah, cloud. Make sure y'all back up y'all phones, man. Only reason I did, I, I, was, sure. I was about to cancel my iCloud until I don't got no memory left on my MacBook. Which I don't that's understand. another thing, too. Like, the storage on your phone... It might be high, you might get the highest gigs, but if your iCloud storage is like 10 gigs, it's like... <laughs> yeah, like, come on, man, what the fuck? You can run everybody 5 gigs of free storage, but they got a 256 gig phone. The fuck am I supposed to do with that? That's how they get, That's how they get you. I was, I was so funny because I deadass was about to cancel mine until I went to back up my, to my computer, and then it's like, not enough space on your computer. So now with this one, it looks... It damn, looks I took seamless. one off my other one already. It's seamless. Like, you can't even really tell. Right, get yourself a glass protector. Better be safe than sorry. Okay, it's like you, camera can't really pick it up, you but it's on it up, there though. But you can't see it. Like I had a white one before, so on the borders you always saw it. You, it looks like a clear screen protector on the black phone. Yeah. Which is what I wanted. Meet the new home button. Okay, so let's get started. And basically, all you gotta do is this one's like level two. This is pretty much like the sweet spot to everybody, but. You have one which is soft. You know, I, I never like anything soft. You know, this one kind of give it like a more firm tap. So it's using the Taptic engine on the back. This is generation uh, two. Uh, so it's definitely more stronger. So it's that's the whole reason why they took away the headphone jack so it could fit the motor, um, you know, throughout the whole phone on the bottom. Basically what's powering this display right now, this is a 5.5 inch display. 
1920 by 1080p you know hopefully on the iPhone 8 they'll probably up up the resolution on the back it is a 12 megapixel camera but on the other one on the left is a um, 12 megapixel wide angle lens so basically you have two times the zoom okay so see that over there I could just tap and look how far the zoom is without you know compromising the quality of the picture very very nice and you can see you can see very very far this is good for like you know the vacations if you're on like a cruise ship you could probably see the islands from a distance um, without compromising um, quality keep in mind guys on the right camera it doesn't have optical image stabilization but on the left camera it does so keep that in mind hopefully the iPhone 8 will have it optical image stabilization Ugh. hopefully on the iPhone 8 both the cameras will have optical image stabilization and yeah so I don't know why Apple did that maybe they want to save the features for the next iPhone you know Apple like to move like that uh, 4k so you can record 4k at 30 frames per second 1080p 60 frames per second 720p at 30 frames per second you have slow-mo you have your retina flash the front facing camera is actually a 7 megapixel when you're doing FaceTime it should be a lot more clear hopefully in the future Apple will allow like four-way FaceTime that would be so dope okay so you can see it's very very nice and clear you have that live photo right there this is um, touch ID second generation so it's extremely fast you have your um, your speakers so the speaker is actually on the earpiece you have a speaker on the bottom this one here is not a speaker so it's just actually a speaker grill um, no headphone jack which is so disappointing to even say but it is what it is it's time to move on if you have a 6 or a 6s is this up worth the upgrade it depends if you like if you like you know if you really don't care about this stuff then this is probably not the right upgrade if you want to be if you want to be the person with the the latest and greatest then yeah this is obviously a good upgrade but the iPhone 8 is going to be where is that with the glass back wireless charging possibly um, supposed to have a uh, bigger display I think and it's supposed to have like a wrap around screen on the side so we gotta wait and see if, if all of that is gonna be true but that's the iPhone 7 in a nutshell alright so that concludes my unboxing slash review of the iPhone 7 plus yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy leave a like if you guys did if you have any questions leave them in the comments and other than that, your boy Pops, and I catch you guys on my next video. Yeah, definitely the iPhone 7 Plus look a lot better. But, okay, yeah, I'm done. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to look for. Yeah. So, the speaker is coming from here. And it's coming from the bottom. If you actually switch your iPhone to this side, it's going to switch the channel. So basically, your left channel is going to be on the left. Your right is going to obviously be on the right. If you switch your iPhone to the other side, the right channel is going to be on the right. And the left is going to be on the left. So it's going to switch. Depends on the orientation of your iPhone. But it sounds really nice. Definitely the loudest iPhone. Also, this is the first iPhone to feature, it, um, you know, splash water, dust resistant, rated six plus. Oh, seven plus. <laughs> Gotta cut that now. <laughs>